Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the pinnacle, the final summit of our grueling climb. We have the finale, Team Nirmar Robocon versus the GTU Robotics Club. Both the teams have pushed the boundaries of science and strategy and have paved the way for this ultimate confrontation. Back to our referees. To one and all present in this lecturer complex of IIT Delhi, what a wonderful set of matches we have had so far. We had 50 matches till now, 40 in the league round, 4 pre-quarterfinal matches, 4 quarterfinal matches, and then 2 semi-finals. At the end of all this, finally we have 2 teams that will be playing for the summit match. These are in red, we have team Nirma Robocon from Institute of Technology from Nirma University. They are representing team red. Let us welcome Nirma team to the red corner. On the blue corner, we have the opponents. On the blue end corner, we have team GQ Robotics Club, the Grand Masters of Strategy, showing an inexplicable defense. The unbreachable fortress, a team that has weathered every storm with tactical brilliance and ice cold composure. We have the final toss in the air. And here we go. The final starts. Team Nirma Robocon looking for a dribble. The energy of crowd seems quite electrified here. Team Blue setting up their defensive parameters. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to have here. Team Blue is guarding both the robots. And that's it, folks. We have the 20-second violation here. The balls will change position. So we'll have a reset. Both the teams will have... A restart. Team GT Robocon looking for their first dribble or a pass. Some hated classes on the court we have here. And that's an 8 second violation so the balls will change position. Team Red in control of the ball. Team Nirma Robocon control of the ball. Team Nirma Robocon. And we have the referee's whistle here. Team Red looking to break Team Blue's defensive parameters and that was an excellent performance by Team GT Robocon. They show a very good defensive position. The crowd's going frenzy here in LSC Arena, IIT Delhi. The balls are going to be reset by both the teams. The engineers of GTU Robocon working hard on the robots. I must say it's an impeccable display of defense and offense by both the teams. And Team GTU Robocon is showing some new defensive fancy stuff here. Team Myanmar Robocon are still trying to figure out how to get their first pass or the dribble. Team GTU Robocon with the ball here. Team GTU Robocon waiting for referee's whistle. Team Red with the ball in the position. They'll be looking for a first dribble or a pass. And Team Nirma Robocon. If it is going to be intentional every time, we are going to have violation or foul as per the situation. This is a warning to both the teams. Both the teams have been doing this. So please be careful. So we have made the clock pause. So the position will be with the blue color. Red will continue with defense. The referee is giving some final cues about the violations. There seem to be some heated exchange. And the team has warned both the teams. The team referee has warned both the teams to ensure that the heat 
clashes don't be intentional, otherwise they'll come with a foul. Team Blue with possession of the ball and that's a successful pass. But I think Team Blue are looking for a shootout here. And that was a successful shot from half court of the stadium, the half court arena. Team GTU Robocon has done a half court shot directly on to the Nirma Robocon. Nirma Robocon faced some final technical issues. Team GTU Robocon leads the match, the finale, by a score of 3 0, ladies and gentlemen. We are witnessing something very interesting here. Team Red back in possession of the ball. And that was a unintentional tackle. One second, wait for the whistle. Wait for the whistle. Okay, Blue has a position. Blue already has a position of the ball. The blue team going for a dribble and a pass. Let's see what we're going to have here. And that was a valid pass, but they crossed the eight second time. So the ball goes back to team Nirma Robocon. Nirma Robocon will be waiting steady with the ball, waiting for the referee's whistle. And we have the referee's whistle here. Team Nirma Robocon looking to tackle Team Blue GT Robocon's defense. And that was a successful defense by Team Blue GT Robocon here. Team GT Robocon are on another level here. It's something that we did not see in the complete series here. They have come up with a new strategy. Going offensive even on the dribble of the team. And that was a successful pass by team GTU Robocon, but they could not regain the control of the ball. The position goes back to team Red, Nirma Robocon, who are still looking for their first shot, opening shot. Team Red back in possession of the ball. They're moving towards the half court. They're going with their single robot, which might be a little bit disadvantageous for them. And that's it, folks. We have the referee's final whistle. They have done it. Team GTU Robocon have done it. Whoever is the winner of this night will get to represent India in the D Robocon World Championship later this year. We could see a lot of adrenaline rush. The team GTU Robotics Club did a three-pointer. They scored three points. However, they also committed a foul and gave Nirma three points. There is a tiebreaker criteria. Please listen. Both of them, they have three and three. So they are tied at the first tiebreaking criteria. The second tiebreaking criteria as per the rule book. I am quoting as per the rule books. That means the points that are gained by shooting. So in this case, Team GTU Robotics Club wins. over the stadium. The referees have gained a final decision here. The players are jumping, throwing off their headsets, jumping into frantic, ecstatic embrace. Tears of joy stream down the faces as they vault over barrier to be.